the Bible, and you put the Bible at me all day, and if you don't believe in science and think science has anything to do with, with our being, then you can sit here with these slides all day and they're gonna say, We have a butt, just as this guy was saying. You know, so it's it's to me I pretty much quit. because uh, I was raised very religious, you know, and so I pretty much quit just because people are blissfully ignorant. They don't want to believe it, we just yeah. like Ray Hunter. What would it do to his life yeah. if if he oh, just yeah. said, you know what? This is right, this is real. You know, he would he would not he, he doesn't offer the world anything else. He doesn't have a trade or a skill. This is right. what the man does. He right. puts food on his table like yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. And know, people like that, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. I think I, what I've noticed though is is a lot of people that may start off that way that don't have, you know, kind of money in the pot. Uh, if you if you say, you know, science has these limitations, we can't explain things, you know, if, if you go into the supernatural, I just can't deal with it. You know, if, if you kind of take that tack, you might actually get him to listen. Because then, then, then you're saying, hey, I'm not going to buy any of that, but I'm not dismissing it out part of my as a scientist. Is, is if people are happy, you know, uh, if you're living your life and you say, you know, praise God, believe in you, you know, that's, and, and you're happy and you're living a happy, thrilled life, then, then why would I intervene and say, hey, look, you know, you're an idiot, it's true. You know, yeah. and, and, and crush their world, right. Very true. because they're living their happy life, Man. and their happy life doesn't have to equal my happy right. life. Right. So, so I've kind of just bowed out and said, hey, you know, if you want to go to church every Sunday, floss every Sunday and Wednesday, and you know, do whatever you want to do, then great. Yep. Do it. Make yourself happy to live your life. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I agree with that. The only time, the only time I disagree with that is when it gets into. You know, if, if someone is trying to push some political agenda as far as teaching something mm -hmm. in school, yeah. that's when... Maybe your problem. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's... Because, yeah, then they cross that line from just living their life and... Yeah. Now, yeah. now their liberty is infringing on yours. Yeah. Yes. Right, so here's the problem with that, though, that I see, is that you've got these, like, extremists up here who want to control everything and push their... And then you've got everybody in the middle, and it kind of brings them less extreme, right? So the more widely accepted, say, Christianity in general is, then it kind of makes gives some level of legitimacy to people who otherwise, in the absence of Christianity, would just be completely institutionalized, right? So these people are just really passionate about their faith, as opposed to being whacked out about the control of the universe, right? So the presence of moderate religion almost, like I said, legitimizes the, the people who are out of control the way we go to school. If if the moderate Christians regulated the fundamentalists, then there wouldn't be that issue. But the fundamentalists don't have the integrity to not use the religious moderates as shield. And that, and so, yeah, I, I do see what you're saying. I've used that example to people before that I have, I have a lot of Christian friends and they don't, they don't like the things that I say. Um, on you know on Facebook, and no I've, I've, pointed, I've pointed that out to them though, that you know instead of instead of getting mad at, at me for calling people out on things that you would never do, don't get mad at me. Get mad at them for doing it, and that's and so you know the thing that you're talking about, instead of instead of um, framing it in. And it being a you know an, an a religious problem in general, it would it's it'd be more beneficial for us to appeal to the religious moderates the way that, that he's saying that to tell them to live <coughs> out with you guys, you know, appeal to them and be friends with them because it's gonna show them that we're on their side because then they're gonna want to regulate the fundamentalists. And so that'll solve the problem, I guess, for both of us, you know? Well, the moderates aren't exactly the leadership in the religious community. It's the only way to really mm -hmm. get ahead is to be crazier than the person on the left, right? Yeah, but they are the majority. True, but I mean, you know, the majority usually is the majority. Regardless, they're still the majority. But yeah, when it, when I, I think when it comes to like voting, you know, <coughs> they, they would much rather vote for a, a fundamentalist politician versus an atheist. And that, I think that's yeah. that's where you come from. If we just change the perceptions of who we are, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, it's been so long since I've eaten a baby. <laughs> <laughs>